All right, so as many of you know, 7 Millimeter Som is one of my absolute favorite cartridges. As a matter of fact, it may be my favorite cartridge. And it occurred to me the other day that I never really talked about why I came about or how I came about chambering this particular rifle in 7 Som. Now, this thing started out as a, as a long action a long action Tika and 300 Win Mag. Um, and I knew that when the 300 Win Mag barrel was burnt out that I wanted to do something different with it. Um, at the time, I had just started really getting into shooting F-Class. Um, and there was a few things um, that I wanted to build this rifle for. Um, I wanted something that I could be that I could be successful at shooting F class with. At the time I was I was really just shooting F class with my six millimeter Creedmoor, and, and six millimeter Creedmoor is a great cartridge. Um, I've had lots I've, I've had lots of success with six millimeter Creedmoor even at long range F class, um, but. I knew if I was going to actually have any sort of real success at it, any consistent success, um, the 6mm Creedmoor could not be my only cartridge for shooting F-Class. Um, so that was one of my main reasons why I wanted to build a different rifle. Um, beyond that, I wanted something, as you guys know, I do lots of long range and extreme long range videos, and I wanted something that was actually going to be capable um, of those extreme long range shots. And beyond that, I also do some long range hunting and I wanted something that could take down absolutely anything um, out to distances that I feel comfortable with shooting game at out to eight, nine hundred yards. So um, as you guys know, I'm very when I when I get to researching something, I really focus on the data. And so with talking to a lot of different people um, as well as doing my own research, um, I ended up settling on the 7 Som, and we're going to go over a little bit of just uh, just the 7 Som, the characteristics of the 7 Som, and then we'll talk about how it fits all that criteria, all those criteria that I I wanted this particular rifle build for. So first off, uh, the parent case of the 7 Som. We talked about this in the past. In the past, we've done comparisons with the 7 Som, um, but th this is going to be just a lone talking about just the 7 Som and how it fits all these criteria. So um, the parent case for the 7 Som is the 300 Ultra Mag, um, Remington Ultra Mag, um, and the parent case of the 300 Remington Ultra Mag is the 404 Jeffries. Um, the case capacity for the 7 Som is 72.6 grains of water. So now as we talk about case capacity, just like when we do our, when we do our comparison videos, um, when we're talking about case capacity, we're talking about water. Um, so case capacity of the 7 Som, 72.6 grains. Um, the shoulder angle, 30 degrees. Now this is something that was big for me um, because the more research I do into different cartridges, um, especially now that I'm doing these cartridge comparisons, um, I see a lot of merits to a 30 degree shoulder angle. Now there are merits to other shoulder angles as well, but um, for the overall cartridge and what I wanted this for, um, I, was, I was trying to find something with a 30 degree shoulder angle. Um, so this 7 Som here, now obviously this is a 30 inch barrel, so now you take this for, you know, this is a extremely long barrel um, or a an extra long barrel, something that I'm going to be using in competition as well as the ELR shot, so I'm wanting to get as much velocity as I can out of this. The barrel that I had on here previous was a 28 inch barrel. With that 28 inch barrel, I was running the 183 Match Kings, which was my was my favorite load for the ELR shots with the 28 inch barrel. I was getting, with those 183 Match Kings, um, I was getting 2,960 feet per second. One of the things about the SOM is it's got a very wide velocity node or very wide accuracy node and that accuracy node is up towards the upper end of the pressure curve so you it's very easy and this is something after talking to a lot of different people who shoot many different cartridges up at, at the matches that I shoot um, I many people would tell me that 7 Som if I was wanting something you know I was telling them all the criteria that I wanted my rifle for um, and one of the things that we all talked about was the 7 Som and one of the big things that kept coming up is this large accuracy node and um, how it can be ran well over um, the published data because I was looking at published data at first and I just wasn't really that impressed but then when I started talking to people who are already running a 7 Som and they were explaining to me the actual velocities they were getting that was well beyond the, the published data velocities um, it really intrigued me so 
um, the this this being the 30 inch barrel with the 197 match king load so this is the load that I've been shooting a lot of lately um, it's the load that I've been shooting doing a lot of the ELR shots with here in the recent recent couple of weeks um, and this 197 match king load so this 197 match king I have a it, this is a bullet that is Kate that is a point four g7 uh, g7 bc so if you guys understand ballistic coefficient 0.4 is extremely high and that was another thing i wanted to concentrate on the seven millimeters so when i was at these matches and noticing the people that were having the most success were all shooting seven millimeter cartridges now there's lots of seven millimeter cartridges there's lots of seven millimeter cartridges that would have allowed me to be successful at those at at f class shooting um but to meet all my criteria and and to try to make a get a rifle that was going to meet everything that I wanted it for um, I, I weeded out a lot of those seven millimeter cartridges um, I looked at like the 28 nozzler the 28 nozzler great cartridge way more velocity or significantly more velocity than I'm going to get even out of the 7 SOM but the 28 nozzler also with all that extra velocity all that extra powder become becomes a significant amount more recoil when it comes to controlling recoil as we've talked about in the past as we've done we've talked about this a lot i'm a big proponent of being able to control my recoil and make that recoil work for me um, and the more recoil you have the harder it is to do that consistently so i wanted something that i don't mind controlling um, a, a decent amount of recoil but I wanted something that wasn't going to beat me to death um, and and something that I could consistently control so I ruled out a lot of the the 28 nozzlers um, we did a comparison with the 7 SOM and the 7 rim mag 7 rim mag um, while actually running about the same velocities as the 7 SOM it's way less efficient um, so the 7 rim mag being much less efficient uh, burning a significant amount more powder also has a little bit more recoil so after shooting a couple of different seven psalms i i realized that it was going to be no problem being able to control the recoil in a seven psalm uh, for match shooting as well as the elr shooting and the hunting that i was wanting to do um so with this 197 match king as we're getting back to that sorry um, 197 match king uh, with 61.8 grains of of Hodgson's H1000, um, I'm getting this thing out to 2,930 feet per second. So that's a .4 BC bullet, um, G7 BC bullet, go, leaving the muzzle at 2,930 feet per second. So you guys might have seen recently I did a video where me and my friend Joey, um, we went out and shot, he took his uh, 300 Win Mag, or not sorry, his 338 Lapua, uh, also with a 30 inch barrel. Um, and me with my 7 SOM, him shooting the 285 grain ELD match, which also has just slightly above a 0.4, uh, trued out 0.4 BC, um, and me shooting the 197 match king load. And we both shot out to the same distance, same condition, same everything, 2,400 yards. His muzzle velocity is also 2,300 and uh, sorry, 2,930 feet per second with a significant amount more powder burn to get him there. Now, obviously, it's a much heavier bullet, um, but the BC being extremely comparable, um, when, when we put the videos together, and I'm going to show you guys that here in a minute, uh, when we put the videos together and then timed the times of the time of flight between both, both rounds um, at leaving the muzzle at the same exact speed, both rounds at 2,400 yards, uh, the time of flight with his 338 Lapua was only 0 .002 or 1 50th of a second faster uh, time of flight than my 7 SOM out at 2400 yards. And this is the mythical 338 Lapua, um, the cartridge that is known for capabilities at extreme long range. So I was able to pick a cartridge that would, with the right bullet and the right setup, was able to keep up with a cartridge like the 338 Lapua. So that was something else I was looking for. That checked that box of ELR shooting. Um, but at 2,930 feet per second with the 197 Match King at 500 yards, you're looking at a 2.4 mil elevation. So fairly flat shooting to 500 yards. Um, at 1,000 yards, you're looking at a 6.7 mil elevation. Um, and then at 2,000 yards, uh, only 22.1 mils of elevation out to 2,000 yards. So, uh, 
this thing is extremely capable of those ELR shots. Now, like, now, like I said, I want to remind you that is all with this 30-inch barrel. So if you're running a 26 or 28 or 24-inch barrel, obviously those numbers are going to be lower than mine. But um, still, ex comparable to a 338 Lapua uh, with the same with the same exact barrel length. So, as a matter of fact, uh, my elevation at that distance was only nine minutes of angle shorter than his elevation. So it really made me know when we did that that I had made the right choice as far as my ELR shooting goes. Um, when it comes to the matches, I have the, the very high accuracy node. Um, and then barrel life. Um, I wanted something that I wasn't that wasn't just going to be a barrel burner. I looked at the uh, set the uh, seven millimeter WSM. That was another one that I really considered when putting this together because it actually does produce a a slight bit more velocity. But with the seven WSM, uh, it's a it's known for burning out barrels. It burns out barrels significantly faster. And we did a comparison of the 7 SOM and the 7 WSM as well. And that's one of the big that was one of the big features for me of the 7 SOM is I was going to be able to produce almost the same velocity, the same velocity as a 7 rim mag, um, the same velocity as a 7 WSM, slightly less than both obviously, um, and not burn out barrels uh, in less than 2,000 rounds. So you're looking at 2200 rounds of there about for the seven som barrel life so that was another big factor for me uh, in picking the seven som another thing that really drew me to the seven millimeter cartridges in general and especially the seven som was the bullet selection so obviously if i want to do long range hunting with this um, i'm not going to be shooting the same bullet that i'm going to be shooting for matches and for matches i'm probably not going to be shooting the same bullet uh, that i'm going to be shooting for elr uh, even though my last match of this year i did shoot the 197 match king and it shot absolutely phenomenally um, but beyond that i did, i typically run a different bullet um, for a a I don't go with I don't try to run just the highest BC that I can I try to get the most accurate load that I can and that's not always the highest BC bullet um, so with the with the large array of seven millimeter bullets uh, whether it's hunting seven millimeter seven millimeters have been a huge um, a seven millimeters have been huge in the hunting world for a long time um, there are lots of people that uh, really focus on seven millimeter bullet technology so seven millimeter I'm, I'm going to find something I'm gonna be able to find bullets uh, that will without a doubt uh, take any game that I want and I feel pretty comfortable with the velocity that I can get out of the seven SOM uh, with the bullets that I can shoot out of the seven SOM there's not a piece of game in North America that I wouldn't be able to take with this rifle with a well-placed shot um, so and beyond that I'm able to get the high BC bullets uh, extremely high BC bullets for the ELR shots and then extremely accurate match bullets which there are many different companies making bullets uh, really focused on accuracy for the seven millimeters so that was all that together really drew me to the seven SOM after looking at the data I'm um, looking at the amount of recoil that I was going to be getting out of the seven SOM uh, looking at the velocities that this thing was going to be capable of after talking to people and realizing that the velocity that the uh, that the published data was a little bit skewed. Um, all that really drew me to the 7 SOM, and I'm really extremely happy with my choice. Um, as you guys know, it's, this thing has become, without a doubt, my favorite cartridge. So I just wanted to do this video to talk about why I chose the 7 SOM for this rifle. Uh, I've had a lot of different people ask me, why not this 7mm cartridge? Why not that 7mm cartridge? And there's so many great 7 millimeter cartridges but I wanted something for the entire package and I think I found it with the 7 SOM. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.